Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily update. It's Monday. I hope everyone is doing great. So before we go on the analysis, let's check what do we have actually this week. Today is 22nd uh, of, uh, of May. So let's check what do we have today. We don't actually have any economic news. You can see here there is nothing. Uh, tomorrow, let's see, flash, uh, USD, I don't think we have uh, any, any, any serious economic news on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I think I'll have to wake uh, up early for New Zealand, uh, interest rates around 4 o'clock. We can check this. Uh, bang, uh, oh, on Wednesday, actually, we have FOMC meeting. Uh, so it means this week things might actually uh, move uh, in a way that uh, uh, the market, mostly when we expect news like this or when we expect uh, minutes, the market tends to not push that much. But we will see what we can do. It's a very important one on, uh, on Wednesday. So on Thursday, uh, we have an employment claim. This uh, actually, it's actually every week every week so every thursday we should know that around half past two we have uh, unemployment claims on friday a uh, call a uh, price index so not really that important so i think maybe the other ones will be the uh on the last week uh, next week actually so we're gonna have some serious news obviously we're gonna have maybe some nfps and stuff like that so yeah i see that as nfp so let's push, uh, let's push actually to our analysis. It's Monday, guys. So I just want to do uh, just the review, the update, what actually happened since we actually did our weekly analysis. We just did our weekly analysis yesterday. If you did miss that video, go check that. So now we are actually on AUD USD. What's really happening since the market actually broke out? of this nice you can see it was very straightforward uh, uptrend the market actually broke out remember uh, i also did send a, a video about breakout so after this breakout here you can easily see that the market started to do what to push the lower side so but most of the time once the market actually breaks out the market sometimes won't give you some proper structure so you have to be like uh, on your toes because the market will actually create structures that are actually as is still actually very new the trend is still very new so the market will try actually to create something and it's not going to be that visible you see so but what we see is yes it shows us that the market actually is continuing with this uh, downtrend and we can also draw maybe a sort of diagonal you can see that i think it might make sense something like that but what we want here is the most important thing is the resistance because it will help us know where we can keep selling so now we expect the market to do what to keep pushing lower and uh, as yeah as we don't actually have enough economic news for aud i think yes we can look for that actually sell you see as the dollar is getting stronger and stronger i hope you see that i hope you see that so let's push to the next one which is a euro G, a jpy euro jpy what's really happening on euro jpy uh if we go back there we saw that the market was actually pushing to the upside so where we are now we are still uh, actually on a push but we have a very simple structure here uh our structure is we had actually a wedge where the market created a support on top here we have a very nice resistance i hope you can see that so the market was just playing around uh, this structure a trying a, a wedge structure so after that obviously you see that the market just broke out and once the market breaks out on this uh, a resistance obviously it shows us that now it's actually starting to push the upset so what we can do here is we can try to draw a support area and from this support area we will know where actually to buy or to sell but for now since the market broke out here we actually going to look for areas or for zones where we're supposed to do what we're supposed to actually 
uh, by so let's do something like this now this is going to be our support area going further uh, support area something like this so the market is actually pushing to the upside very nice you can see so we expect where, where we are actually we expecting a very nice buy uh, because we are actually on a very we are not actually far from the support area do you see that so we can have something like this here but remember it's still monday things might actually consolidate but we know that yes the market might continue like that do you see that so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one okay the next one is actually bitcoin let's just over uh, see what's really happening on bitcoin just for updates guys it's monday just relax let's check the updates you don't forget to smash the subscribe button so here we can see that okay this thing is still trying to push the upside uh, we see that it's actually trying to play around where we are now we are actually on a support area so there might be a chance for the market to push the upside if not if not we might see the market trying to do what the market trying to push lower to this support before we see a push but i'm confident that this thing can a uh, bitcoin can actually push to the upside i hope you see that let's push to the next one uh, don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you are new to this channel uh, if not just smash the like so now we are actually on gbp jpy uh, this is actually the market has been actually trying to push the upside where we are now we are still on a very nice area i will show you there uh, once we go closer but you can see that the market has been actually showing us that I'm pushing to the upside this is very clear uptrend you can see that the market is starting from the bottom uh, to the top you do you see that so if we try to zoom and go closer there you will see that actually the market already uh, after we had this breakout uh, the market you can see the market actually was creating a wedge structure then the market broke out plus it was obvious because we were actually on an uptrend so we're gonna even take this thing out that's a uh, resistance out so now we have something like this you can even push it like that we see that okay the market created some a uh, uh, structure as a resistant on top of there the market reached uh, this area this area and now it's pushing lower but what we see here is the market is actually playing around the same level and that level to us is actually is going to be a support you can see that on the bottom side so what are we going, we're going to do here what are we going to do we're going to have something like that we're going to have something like this i think on that one is just obvious but don't just jump on the market i think the best way that you can do is try to have a buy pending order and then see if maybe the market is going to respect this support area if not uh, if it, the market is not going to uh, respect this area we will see it pushing maybe lower but we still have a support area around this area which is good then we will wait for the market then we can easily uh, buy i hope you see that i hope you see that so on this one i have to come back and send the signal so now we are actually on euro usd what's really happening on euro usd uh, i like this one because it's just straightforward so we can easily see that the market is actually been pushing to the upset we call this structure an uptrend so the market has been trying to show us that guys i'm actually bullish then we saw that and guess what after that bullish momentum the market decided to do what to break out break out breaking out it means that since we we were on an uptrend the market is actually changing that trend it's no longer an uptrend now we're gonna think about downtrend the market is now doing what pushing lower so the best thing that you can do is now we know that the market is pushing lower we have to draw our resistance so that we know where to sell as the market will be actually pushing lower so we have to know where to sell where to sell where to sell so we're going to have something like this make sure that you don't actually use so many lines so that uh, your chart should be clean actually we're supposed to remove the older ones there because they are no longer 
uh, important. So now we have something like this. I think you can, you can easily see that something like this here, obviously we might have we, we might actually have a very nice cell from where we are because we are even actually on a, a cell yeah we are actually on a cell uh, sorry on a resistant area so let me try to take this call okay sorry so uh where we are now we are actually on a resistance so it means there is enough chance for the market to do what to keep pushing lower and besides that we are actually on a downtrend the market is still actually pushing lower which means the dollar is still very strong so we expect the market to continue with that if not obviously the market will break this resistance and start to push the upside but we will be watching we will be watching so the best thing is to have a very nice sell stop around that area once the market pushes lower we will be waiting we will be waiting usdjpy what's really happening on usdjpy uh, the market was like aggressively pushing to the upside it's cold guys it's seriously cold i think winter is now getting serious so what we see here is on the uh, usdjpy the market is pushing to the upside and we are actually still on that bullish momentum but this area here it was like seriously aggressive but where we are now we are actually on a very interesting area because if you check on your left here you will see that the market even if it was pushing up it respected this area it created something there we call that a, a highest point or a higher high then now the market actually uh, it's breaking out but it's coming there actually to reach us so we might see the market trying to continue from that area since we see a breakout so something like this might make a very uh, we can let me go closer there something like this is something we're supposed to do by pending order there if the market is going to respect this uh, resistant area and start to push the upset so it's no longer going to be our resistant it's going to be actually a support area this might be a very nice retest before we see another push yes there is a chance actually for the market to push you lower before we see maybe a push to the upside but for now for now we have to actually think about uh, buying as the market is still actually on that buy guess what we are actually on U us oil we are actually on us oil if maybe you saw the market on us oil if you did check my weekly analysis or my daily analysis you saw that actually the market uh, is still actually on a very very nice downtrend on us oil and where we are the market was still continue continuing with that so let's go closer there just to see what's really happening i will just maybe use two hours time frame let's push there don't forget to smash the subscribe button so where we are now we can easily see that okay the market was actually continuing with that downtrend the market you can see was doing something like that but now the market got out of that started to create this horizontal resistance where we are now we're still thinking about what selling if you did check my analysis yesterday i think maybe you did see something like this you can see that we had a very nice resistant on top and on the, on the bottom side we also had a sort of a a support area that i also drawn there and said if the market breaks that we're going to jump on that cell but the thing is it was yesterday obviously we did not take this one but you can see that obviously this was a simple cash simple actually to make money when you know the breakouts and stuff like that and if you did not check that video uh, try to check it uh, on this channel so let's push to the next one uh, which is gold yeah, what's really happening on gold, guys? Gold, 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 gold. Uh, I think four hours uh, time frame can make some magic. Let's go on four hours time frame. On four hours time frame on gold, uh, this structure, guys, is very straightforward. Uh, the market, you can see that the market actually has been showing us that, guys, I'm pushing to the upside. Guess what? Until we see the market breaking out there. You see? The market just broke out. So with that obviously we start to think that okay since it's a breakout obviously the market is planning to change the trend now the market is 
about to push the lower side where we are now i still think maybe the market is just trying to uh, give us a sort of a retest if we check this area you see this area it was a a very nice a very strong support if we draw something there maybe the market wants to retest before we go lower again or maybe just gold maybe as you know gold maybe gold still wants to push the upside so i will mark this area uh oh i think it's a bit higher but i think it's still the same zone it's just that uh on this side is a bit higher but it's fine we will mark that area let's go closer there on maybe one hour just to see if maybe whatever that i'm trying to say makes sense you can see this area it's sort of a resistant uh, let me try to push it up to this point or let me not force that uh, i don't know if maybe something like this will work uh, for now i don't think it makes sense i think we can wait but we have to mark this area just to see if maybe the market will go above that if not obviously we might see the market starting to push to the lower side as the market actually broke out and we expect the mark uh, the market to still push lower actually on gold i'm expecting the market to keep pushing lower on gold so let's see if maybe this will make sense yeah it seems like to it's making sense but we'll just wait for a proper structure because this one was the time the market was pushing to the upside. So it might not be that relevant uh, for now. So let's go on US 30. This thing is playing some games. What's really happening on US 30? It's quite straightforward. Uh, we can easily see that the market was actually, was still actually on a very nice, very strong downtrend where we are now we're still trying to see if maybe the market wants to respect that or not the market has been playing games you can see actually that from this area the market actually at least created a very nice structure to show uh, showed us that i'm trying to push lower but once the, where the market reaches this area the market broke out so we don't know if maybe the market will push higher again or maybe the market will try to push lower so let me show you what we had before we had something like this something like that actually then the market just broke out the market broke out so we will see if maybe this is a fake breakout or something uh, let me do double lines you can see that that the market was actually respecting these areas it was a wedge structure we had a breakout a retest aggressive retest another push now the market is here again so we don't know if maybe the market will be going down or maybe it will respect this area and start to push the upset but the overview actually the overview of the structure we are actually still on a downtrend so it means uh, there is enough chance that bearish uh, momentum can still actually try to push the to the lower side even if maybe we have some sort of bullish momentum but the, e the for the market to sell is going to be way too easier as we are still actually on a downtrend so let's go to the last one which is actually nasdaq nasdaq what's really happening on nasdaq uh, it's been actually trying to push the upside i hope you can see that so let's try to zoom with that uh, let's try to zoom 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 you can see this is a very simple straightforward structure uh, where the market was actually pushing to the upset and still the market is still actually pushing to the upset but from this area the market was like seriously aggressive and with that with that type of of aggressive uh, we expect the market to maybe sell before maybe we see another push that is possible we even see around this area we had a structure where the market is trying to respect so let's go on that or well, a smaller time frame we can see that the market seriously pushed to the to the upside like seriously aggressive but on top of there you can easily see that we have a simple very simple resistance there 
So this might still push the market to the lower side. But you can see these candlesticks, they were not moving that aggressive. And then if you are on a sell, yeah, it might take time for you to make profit. But at the end of the day, the market can still push lower before we see another push. Or we have some areas actually around this area or around this zone. The market might reach this area maybe and push low, uh, higher again or around this area. It's just that uh, it's not really clear yet where the market will respect before we think about pushing up. Since uh, the inflation is still trying to, to go up, uh, we will see what will happen actually on uh, interest rates. Maybe this will help us to know that they're still going to increase or not. Then we will buy with confidence or sell uh, with that confidence. But it seems like now the market is trying to push towards that resistant area. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, I hope maybe everyone will understand with this uh, daily update or daily review, guys. I hope maybe you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, like, share with your friends. This is Kenzo. Extra out Forex. Bye.